I have procured a new military strategist, as you directed. Strategist and overseer. The occupation has many facets. Show it the fate of the precursory strategist. Fear is an efficient tool of management. Let me die. Your predecessor's contract is ended. Yours is now in force. I am Roma Atani, mentat to the Ordos Executrix. To assure our victory in the War of Assassins, House Ordos has procured the technology to create Golas. Slave warriors grown in flesh vats, genetically formed from the corpses of our fallen enemies. These should prove quite effective for infiltration and assassination. As strategist and overseer, you will command our forces on Arrakis. That is the directive. You will recover territories lost by your predecessor. That is the imperative. You will acquire the planet and its one profitable feature, the Spice Melange for House Ordos. That is the only acceptable outcome. Failure is not an option. Greetings, strategist. Your employment contract is now in effect. Total obedience to the Executrix is mandatory. You will do as you are ordered. You will command the Ordos forces on Arrakis. Victory is mandatory. Failure is unacceptable. Destroy the base. Neutralize the enemy. The Executrix will control the Golden Lion throne and rule the known universe. As a means to this end, you will acquire control of the production of the Spice Melange. Its only source is the planet Arrakis. Conquer this planet for House Ordo. That is your directive. The enemy is attacking. Welcome back to Emperor Battle for Dune and... Unlike I promised last time, we're not going to play the Iconian, we're going to play as House Orders. And we're going to wipe out this trading space here. And then we shall capture this territory. I wonder where that is, because it's kind of icy here, suggesting it's at the pole, where the Orders base should be. There's also icy cliffs here. But then again, it could be at the other pole, I suppose. Anyway, let's let's destroy these Atreides light vehicles here. They're not that big of a threat because there's a lot of them, but it's, it's really just light stuff. And same goes for this infantry here, which falls quickly to our poisonous gas. Let's get that here. You don't really need um, an arms factory. We have enough stuff here, but that's whatever. Oh yeah, I already built this. Forgot about that. Anyway, let's just build some forces we don't really need, and we've got ooh, elite laser tanks. Everybody loves laser tanks. Also, that that event was ma was more or less completely ignored, but I'm okay with that. That is nice. Oh, that's additional enemy force. That's not nice, but it's okay. There we go. Let's just destroy this Fremen settlement here because that's that's how we roll. And there we go. Get that get that scrap. Also, get these guys here killed. Yeah, the laser tanks, they, they remain one of my favorite units because they, they can regenerate. They are useful against pretty much anything. They're not great against anything, but they're okay against everything. But their most important feature is that they can fire on the move, which is just so useful. Yep. Neutralization of the enemy is in progress. They're not that great against infantry, but they're, they're okay against infantry. And firing on the move is very useful, especially against units like Harkonnen tanks. Let's destroy you. Boom. Let's blow up this wind trap here, even though we don't really need to do that. And let's blow you up. And destroy all the barrels. And there we go. The supremacy of House Ordos is our only consideration. That took exactly three minutes. We did need to destroy that last guard tower. I guess this mission here does have special victory conditions. Also, apparently that Atreides base was really a Harkonnen base in disguise. But that's okay. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.